Hello, nerds, and welcome to 4 Nerds Gaming. My name is Keelan, and I'm back. I'm back. Are you? Did you miss me at all? Well, I sure missed y'all. Uh, I've been I've been very busy with work in the last couple of months, and I haven't had a lot of time to get on here. I could have made time. I'm not gonna lie, but I just had lots going on, and but it all doesn't matter. I'm back. I'm back now, and I am on the new brand spanking new Rift in Time server. As you probably already know, they, we reset the server. The Rift in Time mod pack is public. It is out, so you can go get it yourself. And this is our server, the official Rift in Time server, and I am not doing so well. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, let's look in the little quest book. I, I just basically... What was that? Did you hear something? I uh, I started out um, played a little bit a couple days ago when the server just first opened up. Um, then I played a little bit today, and I've already died once there and once there. So I have if you die, you're out. One life left. So. Um, yeah, this is the closest I've ever been to actually being banned from the game. But what I hear, let me look and see here. Uh, let's see. Oh, looky here. This is how many deaths everybody has. Sig has already died twice. Great Wolf twice. Me twice. Al twice. And my wife's died once. So, of course, you're not going to ever see any deaths on Mr. High Lama because he's a cheater. I'm convinced of it. He's a cheater. So two from monsters. Nobody doesn't show. Oh, it's from me. Deaths for everyone has died from monsters. <laughs> Five players have died this way. Yep, all of us have died from monsters. So uh, I'm I'm frankly a little bit terrified. I haven't got a lot of very a very secure location. See that little place over there with the trees on it. That's my little island. I've just. Barely started. I am going to, before I start, get out there into the dangers. I'm going to open a couple of uh, my reward bags that I... What the heck? A couple of reward bags. I'm sure this is going to fill up my inventory real quick with whatever's in here. These are the only two I've gotten so far. I will show you the, the quest book is totally different. The mod pack has been updated quite a bit. There's a lot of changes. A lot of new additions. A lot of upgraded mods. A lot of different mods. Um, you may notice there's no map in my right hand corner up there. Uh, we have this new map installed called the Journey Map, and I can pull that up and show you the map itself. Uh, it's cool, it shows mobs, it shows uh, players that are on where people died and stuff, or I have died. Um, but what's really, really, really cool about it is that if you have a second monitor, you can pull up a browser and have this on your other monitor in real time, full size. So I have another browser uh, window open on my other monitor and I have this screen in refreshing in real time. So I can sit here and look at my right monitor and say, hey, look what's going on over there. Okay, so uh, let's open up the baggage real quick. Uh, B crap, B crap. Poop in a bag reward. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Thank you for naming it appropriately. Whoever did that. <laughs> Stupid bee crap. I'll just leave it here. I think I will. They, they, this is a little tiny starting hut that the uh, llamas made for us just to keep from dying in. People have already claimed some beds and stuff. Al and Great Wolf. Uh, I've slept a couple times in here. Doc sleeps here. Oh, I didn't know Doc had been on yet. Oh, okay. Well, I maybe I should put a sign. I don't know. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to grab the floor up here, and I'm going to throw in the stupid scoop and the stupid bee house. You can have... Whoever wants that, you can have it. Good luck. All right. The other reward bag. Something good. Hopefully food or torches or something that I really, you know, desperately need. Bam. Uh, 
it's not too bad, I guess. It's still the poop in a bag reward, but uh, yeah. Those aren't going to do me so hot right now. I haven't got a smeltery or anything. I have done... Let me show you the quest book. Okay. So this is quite a lot smaller than you saw in the last server we had. We had... This thing was just completely ridiculously full. Rumor has it that the we may or may not have, have lost the last book, but uh, lots of changes, lots of reward changes, lots of modifications. You're not going to be able to get wings early, early in the game. All kinds of fixes and tweaks. Uh, so let's uh, let's I'm going to get into this one to show you the. What's really cool I like about it is that as you complete items, it opens up these other ones. Like when you first open it up, you have. Uh, one, two, three, four items right here. These are the only ones you have on the whole list. And as you complete these, it opens up the new ones. So I did the uh, basically, you know, basic survival ones and uh, made me a pick and made a, a uh, not make a sword, but that you can make throwing knives and a, a, a uh, javelin. Yeah, I made those things. I haven't used them yet, but. I didn't make them. And stupid me, I should have been picking these hearts, I guess, the quarter hearts and stuff, but I've been picking reward bags like a dumb butt. Now I'm completely out. They did add this. This is kind of cool. Um, I think you do this every hour, but you one diamond, one gold ingot, one emerald, and you can get a, a heart. So that's handy. I mean, obviously I can't do it right now because I'm just starting out, but I'm basically, this, is, this ensures that there is not a chance that I'm going to, provided I can make it to the beginning of the game, once I get established, there's no reason why we, we should we should die. Um, then I got, uh, of course, the quest delivery system is just a QDS thing. Um, I haven't even looked at this one. Yet. Oh, yeah, the cooked silkworms. I think I have them all. Let me see, manual submit. Yeah, bam. Okay, so I had to get the, make the crook, silky worms, silky snack. Now, I already have... A th Let me look at my inventory. Uh, I, I, everything's been messed up because I died just a minute ago. But uh, I think they're down in my chest. I know I for sure I have the... Okay, before I claim that, let me go downstairs. It's really... You know, okay, this is dumb of me. Why am I even thinking about this? I should never take... I have the clay and I got the gravel because I'm lazy. There's no way I'm going to take pick freaking 64 sand where I can get a reward bag. That might have something good in it, right? Uh, yeah, there's a desert, just, just a hop, skip, and a jump over here. See, right there, desert. I don't need to, stupid of me to get that from the quest. So, oh uh, yeah, I'm going to do this. Okay, uh, reward bag. Oh, did I miss up something? No? Claim reward? There we go. I, I unselected it. Aha. Uh -huh. So, got some more apples, and we got a reward bag. I'm going to open it up now because I'm desperate for anything that can help me out. And, oh, stuff in a bag reward. That's better than nothing. An oil tank. Don't know what good that is, but uh, I have one. Okay, let me let me sleep real briefly, and then we will go. I want to sleep in somebody's bed. Who wants to bed? Want to sleep in? About my wife's bed. Okay. I do have a sleeping bag. That's one thing that the llamas did give us was uh, I'm only one on the server right now. There were a few people on earlier, but uh, they have left me. They all left me. Oh, this is mine, by the way. <laughs> I don't know if they let me break it now because I'm just I'm at spawn, but oh yeah. I put that down there earlier because I needed this one here you can't you can't use. I guess because it's uh Spawn protection or something? I don't know. I'm surprised they let me place anything down here. All right, I'm going to be very, very careful. The first death I had, as you can see, is right there. I walked around looking for th these trees. These, these trees are amazing. We, we decided to, we did a load of this map the other night, and a few of us got on and looked around and just kind of flew around and looked for a good spot to set for spawn. And we uh, found this spot. Then Mr. Alama reset the entire map after building, you know, and then built this. But anyway, I uh, I was checking out the trees. I went around the trees back there. I got a little farther from home than I wanted to, and I turned and started to come through the, that little clearing right there, right? 
Well, from the other side, you can't see. Something's already been in here and put torches in it. You can't see these holes. It was all dark in here, totally dark. And I'm just tropsing through here. I can see, oh, there, there's the house over there. I'm walking through here, and I fall in one of these holes and immediately get attacked by a stinking chupacabra. He kills me so fast, I don't even know what's going on. Of course, then the other death was just a little while ago. I, uh, I got carried off by rocks. So, uh, the events, the, uh, Lycanite events. There's been lots of changes, um... Lycanite mobs don't spawn as readily or wildly, crazily, whatever illy you want to call it, uh, as they did in the last game. They don't. I know the lava that's lava pools and lava flows like, like over there will not spawn the efrits, efrits, and the, all the nasties. Hey, my pumpkin, my melon grew. I'll take that if I can get some room in my inventory. But uh, they changed some. Yeah, I got the gravel in the. Yeah, let's get rid of some of this junk in here. They changed the spawn rate of a lot of stuff. I do know that. And let's get rid of all the berries. Uh, but the the Lycanites uh, events have like doubled or more. I don't know how many. They, it's, it's gotten ridiculous. So... Uh, I've only seen one of the new events. Uh, was just a few minutes ago when I logged in. I logged in and it was dark, and an event happened right then. I just logged out because I didn't want to have risk of dying. So, so uh, it was um, some kind of winter. Winter. I don't know what it was, but I'm sure we'll see them plenty. And there's a lot of events that happen in the other dimensions that will not affect this dimension. So. You may see some events here that you won't see in other ones, and vice versa. And that'll anyway, we'll learn about it as we go. Okay, so let's get back to the book. I've got to get some quests going on so I can get some hearts because this is I'm desperate now. Okay, so I need to get some mesh. I have three by three in the crafting grid. I know I have lots of uh, yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Three by three, is that like three by three is like that? Where did oh yeah. I mean, how many do you have to have? I didn't even pay attention to that. Oops. Two of them. My dog is not very happy. There's a got a bunch of neighbors next door that have moved in and brought a bunch of dogs. They just let run all over the neighborhood. My dogs are not happy about it at all. They're all barking because of the train going by. Okay, I uh, got the got the mesh. Now I'm going to build my sieve. So that, you need one oak sieve. Let's just look it up in the NEI. so much easier to do that. Uh, S-E-I. How you spell it? Sieve? How you spell sieve? Man, I can't spell crap. S S I E V E I before E except for lots of other words like weird sieve oak okay, oak sticks and that's simple enough probably have some sticks somewhere oh, I have lots of sticks on me. I need some uh, let's just turn those into planks Bam, bam, and some stickies here. I think that's what it was, right? Yeah, sieve. It is pronounced sieve, as in that thing leaks like a sieve. If you live in the country, you may have heard that. That roof leaks like a sieve. Well, this is a sieve, not a sieve, like some people like to call it. It's a sieve, okay? Anyway, rant over. Um, I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to do this season. I have some ideas. I have some cool build ideas. But as far as what mods I'm going to concentrate on, 
working on, I don't know for sure. I am not going to limit myself to just one or two mods. I'm going to try to explore all the ones that I really am interested in, including um, Vacuum Hopper, okay. <laughs> including, uh, what you would call it? <sighs> um, Thomcraft, Thomcraft. You know, I watch these guys do these videos and they're doing all this Thomcraft cool stuff and I'm like, man, that looks so much fun. I really want to do that, but we kind of made a sort of an agreement when we first started the last server that we would not, uh, we would all concentrate on certain mods, and so I was trying to do be a good boy and just do the mods that I had originally agreed to work with, which was uh, Mechanism and, which I, that's really the only one that I did mess with. Uh, what was the other one? Mechanism and I don't remember red redstone power red power I forget what it was uh, anyway Project Red that's what it was Project Red okay so enough talking this uh, let's see here let's go back to the next one here make a make a barrel 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 I can spell oh slab and smoky thingies there make some slabs we'll go ahead and make several several barrels because we can Because if I know, I'm pretty sure that you cannot collect water, or water's not, not uh, renewable. At least it wasn't in the last game. You can't uh, scoop water out of here, it won't fill back in. There's no infinite water sources, so you take water, it just sits there and makes a flowing sound and disappears, and you can't get rid of it, and all that stuff. Um, pumpkin, I mean, uh, melon... I don't know why I have many torches yet. I really have got to do that. I did go in and make some charcoal because I haven't managed to um, get any coal yet. I'm scared because I didn't have any torches. But now I have torches. Oh, I can go do a little bit of mining. Light up my place. You light up my life. Oh, I'm a terrible singer. I'm sorry. Oh, somebody already went in here. Probably my wife. Yeah, this looks like her work. Or really, I just want to... Uh, just want to get some... Tricks for some coal. And to level up my pick, maybe. Generates in your world... That's unusual. Oh, it's part of Chisel. Oh yeah, Chisel upgraded. Uh, there's well, there's lots and lots and lots and lots of updates, but Chisel basically has got a whole new, whole new animal. Chisel two, the Chiz, and you can, man, you can make all kinds of crazy stuff with it. I really just want some coal. Diorite is a, uh, it's a vanilla material. Okay, st spawn rates, uh, or spawn rates. According to the llamas, they changed it where, you know, there's a lot, every mod, not every mod, but lots of mods add tons of different kinds of material. Clay. Um, they add, you know, like every single mod's got a, their own copper. You've got mods that, that add the, the multiple mods. Like if you just start throwing mods into a mod into a pack, you'll get multiples of the same kind of material. Everybody have their own version of what copper or lead or something looks like. So they went in and they took out all the duplicates. Pretty much the main thing they have. Oh, is it getting dark? Okay, I want to sleep in my sleeping bag right here. 
They the main ones they kept were the metallurgy. See their metallurgy four. And I hear tell that they have changed the the awesome weapons and armor that you can get from metallurgy and buffed them to make them a little more worthy. Because before they don't, you know, the the metallurgy stuff was. Uh, I'm banning this. I'm just gonna go do something else. Metallurgy stuff was cool. It looked neat. It had lots of different. If you saw, uh, if you saw uh, Happy Bandit's video, he made one of every one of the different armors, and they're cool looking. They are awesome, but they don't really give you too much of an advantage. I mean, there's some there's some that are better than than others, but they don't give you a ton of advantage. And uh, I think he changed that for sure. All right, so let's put the let's get the. Uh, the old reward. I got a stone barrel. Okay. Water from the skies. Made some mossy stone. What? Place a water barrel on top of some stone type blocks. You can Tain mossy stone type blocks as the water evaporates from the barrel. Hmm. I didn't know that. I thought you had to craft it with uh, this ball of moss stuff. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's get some of the... Do I have... I mean, I mean... I got some of this. Let's go ahead and just create a little... a little island area here. I'll tell you what I'm not going to start doing is start sifting... The crap out of, uh, I don't want to cover up the water. If I place blocks right here, this water will disappear and I'll never get it back. So I'm going to place some like this. Bam, bam, bam. Speaking of the stuff that I was going to, uh, going to build this season, I've got a surprise. I've got an idea that's, it's nothing that hasn't been done before. Probably, but I've never done it before. Um, and it's conveniently. Eh, let's just leave that. Why aren't those stacking? Oh, diorite and diorite. Well, Mr. Alama, if you're watching this video, uh, did you say that you uh, you did away with the dupe? Maybe that's just ores. I don't know, but this is um, diorite and that's diorite. Candy surface and chisel. Uh, why, why not the same? Why, why no stack? Why not get rid of one of those? I say that like I know how hard or easy that is. I have no idea. So where's my barrels? Barrels, barrels, barrels. These will collect rainwater when it rains. Go ahead and put the stone one. Oh, I'm going to use that one for, uh, making lava. Build me a fire under there. Okay, so uh, maybe someday it'll rain and we can get some water in these guys. So let's see what else is next. Go back to uh, the slime ones. Okay, you get those from uh, but milk. I know I saw some cows that direction. At least it bef I don't know if we may kill them or not, but. I'm going to have to have a bucket, which means I need iron, which means I need to level up my pick. So that's going to be a little while. So let's go the other direction. Got that one. Oh, now it's time for... Time for doing the sieve. Hammer. Hammer, hammer, it's one of these guys here, right? X Nilo. Okay, yeah. I remember this guy. Sticks and sticks and planks. And I have lots of sticks. Let's go ahead and make two of those guys. I know it's gonna break simply. Simply. Easily, I'm trying to say. And 
Go ahead and get the reward for that, or at least complete. The, yeah, look at there. Ooh, okay. Okay, um, this one. Sorry, I don't mean to do that every single time. It's gonna get old fast. Okay, let's get some of this crap out of my inventory here. Uh, uh, things I don't really need. Why not? Oh, I mined it earlier, didn't I? Uh, let's keep those. Let's keep that. Don't need an oil tank. Don't need that. Don't need that. I'm gonna put that guy. When I when I do the uh, apple thing, I want to collect him with that, but I don't need it right now. Yeah, there's the uh, javelins and the throwing knives I made. That's new part of uh, Tinker's Construct. They have a bunch of new stuff here. If you go into the tool station, there is... Uh, no, wait, let's go into the part. Stencil table, okay. You've seen all these standard parts, right? Uh, but there's all these over here now, too. There's uh, Sharkin, Crossbow, even Crossbow. I don't know if you could do that before. I know you could do a uh, a bow and there's a bowstring and stuff, but arrowhead. I, I you could do the arrowhead before, but I know you couldn't do a javelin. I'm pretty sure and throwing knives. I don't think you could do that before. If I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong because I just, I don't know. But I don't do not claim to be a Tinker's Construct expert by any means at all. What was I doing? Oh, reward bag. I want to get this reward bag. Uh, Bam. A wrench. And some tree resin collector. Oh. I bet you put those on the side of the tree to get the uh the maple syrup. <laughs> Poop in a bag. Okay, well that's uh that's stuff I've never seen before. So that's better than bee crap. For show. Uh, I'm saving this gravel and clay for making grout so I can make my Tinker's Construct thingy. So let me do a little bit of mining here and I will be back in a minute to wrap this episode up for you. Hopefully I don't die in the next two minutes here. All right, be right back. Okay, I'm back. Done a little bit of the work. Uh, I... Mine some over there. Upgraded my my butt scratcher pick. Butt scratcher. Um. Repaired it. Already about to break it again. And my matic uh, upgraded to the next level. Both of them got the same thing. Got uh, uh. What do you call it? Reinforced one. Yeah, reinforced one on them. So. Uh. Let's see. I forgot to mention that what we are doing on this server as far as a community. You know, on the last uh, last one, everybody just took off every direction to their own thing and never really had any kind of community at all. And we decided, you know, for this time, we're going to try to stick together a little bit. And that's one of the reasons why we chose this area here. Now that I've got a torch, I'm going to go try to recover my stuff that I got from my first death, which is practically nothing. I mean, there's nothing in there but a quest book, I think. And a... But, oh man, I don't know. I may have to go down inside that cave. And I sure don't want to get down there and die. Oh, yes, that's where I fell. Oh, I think I'm not ready for that. But I will go ahead and go through here and, uh, Let's try to lay claim to a an area. Um, the kind of theme we're kind of going with here is the uh, Ewok village kind of thing. The um, up in the trees. Oh boy. So I think we're gonna try to build a, a community area, a city um, up in the tree. Oh my gosh, that cow scared the poo out of me. I'll come back for you later, Bessie. I want to milk you. I oh. get, get some iron. So I don't know. This is kind of difficult for me to uh, to 
envision. I love this area because it's not only of these giant trees everywhere, but also the the I love the the way these these the 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 mountains the the hills the terrain is right here. I can envision building something like hanging off the bottom of that, you know, with bridges that go across to the trees and. I don't know, I need to, I know the llamas have been doing some stuff over here somewhere. Oh, there's some bamboo. When I got on earlier, they were over here. I can see them on my map. They're over here in this area, which is kind of where we're all going to build something. But I don't know if they, I'm going to kind of build, you know, near them. Figure out what kind of community area I'm going to add to the collection here and figure out what kind of shop I'm going to have. What am I going to offer? If anything, we started a vanilla server before we started doing Rift in Time, kind of as a little side. Uh, Distraction for a little short time. So scared I'm going to die. Um, that on that server, I was going to be Redstone Guy. And I was going to go and hire my my services. Um, is that the... Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Where am I? Okay, somebody's already got a little house over here. This is the spawn area. This must be the where the llamas are. Anyway, uh, I was going to hire out my services for doing redstone work. And um, we just kind of got distracted with that server and did a little lot, a lot with the very beginning of it, but then quickly uh, got away from the whole thing. And, oh boy, oh boy. I hear terrible things. Oh no, you know what? This may be a witch's coven house, a coven witch house. A fallen tree? That's bizarre. Yeah. Oh no, 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 no. It's somebody's joint. That's what this is. I see apple trees. And I see barley. And I see barrels. I bet this is a... Uh... Man, that sound scared me. I don't want to... Something's been bad. It could get me. Holy crap. It's got to be that guy down there, right? Oh, that's creepy. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but my gosh. There are all kinds of new creatures in this game that I've never even seen before. There's there's these big giant eyeball tentacle things floating around, these beholders that just that usually something you see in the nether and they're just floating around doing their own little thing. Okay, well I really don't know. Yeah, that's got to be that dude down there. I'm going to stay away in case he can get out. I'm so scared I'm going to stub my toe and die. I'll be eaten alive by something. And be banned from the server right off the bat. I have to beg and plead for my life back from the, the llamas. Well, I don't know exactly what I want to do here. I may have to do some more surveying and then come back in the next episode and tell y'all exactly what I figured out. I sure don't want to take a spot that somebody's already got their eyes on to. This is going to be like a community. I like, I think, I think it's going to be, this area here would be the great spot. This is kind of like a, an enclosed, but the mountains all around. And these trees, by the way, uh, drop saplings and they're plantable and you can grow big ones again. So we could we could grow a bunch more trees in this middle of this thing and have a huge, cut all these short trees out and 
plant a few big ones in here and make uh, some houses go from tree to tree. Okay, folks. Well, I guess that'll do it for me today. Thanks so much for joining us. Be sure and check out all the other channels. And there's lots more Rift in Time stuff coming up. Just in case I didn't mention it, Rift in Time is Solitary Craft. Solitary Craft is, a sur is the uh, mod pack that's been around for a while. It's a kitchen sink, they call it, a mod pack. It's just everything but the kitchen sink. And I gotta sleep before it gets, uh, before I die. But okay. Uh, the llamas have taken over that mod pack completely. They've been given it by the mod creator. He's off working on some new, new project. And, uh, so they have taken complete command and control over it and released. It's basically the same, sort of the same mod pack, but been lots of tweaks and changes and stuff. And you should check it out yourself. Make sure and go to go download the AT launcher. Just Google AT launcher and you'll find this program to download. And in the instances there, you will see Rift in Time Solitary Craft. And, uh, if you got any questions, feel free to put comments in the on the video, and I will answer your questions, every single one of them. I will. So, catch you next time. Bye-bye.